Hello guys, today we are going to see how to create a parent on the child component and how to call the child component into the parent component in the blazer. So very interesting topic, right? So let's go and do it. So here we have an example uh, which is a weather forecast which have a table. It's uh, doing some listing. Okay, so here technically, uh, so we are looping the forecasts uh, collection and we are displaying those uh, data in the table. So our requirement is that like uh, this particular section which uh, need to be coming from the child component. That is our requirement. So then uh, let's uh, go on do that. Okay, so now all the tier whatever the data which is presented in the T body it should be come from the child so how to do that we are going to see now so let's go and create one page just uh, add the new razor page ok Okay, so razor component we call it as okay, or we can call it as um, four. Okay, yeah, so we we call it as the name as forecast. Okay, or uh, we can have it name something like that forecast details. Okay, cool. So here, okay, I'll just uh, let's remove this all and uh, we go and uh, create. Uh, Okay, the class for the forecast will create on partial class. Dot CSV. Okay. Okay, so we will have it a class name portion. So here we'll have a public weather forecast model. So this is the view model for the forecast data okay and we will call it as forecast okay cool so here you just uh, apply this as a parameter because this is going to come from the parent okay cool so now then we'll cut it out this records okay 
then put it here okay so let it for each will keep it there so only tier object we are going to get it from here so it's throwing the error because uh, so we have the property in the caps so upper cache f so that's the reason so let's go and change it okay so now it's fine so our child is ready now now call the component here how to call sorry guys so you have to call the component forecast details then you have to pass the parameter so here we define the parameter name is forecast okay then pass the forecast okay from my child component I called it here so now let's go and reload the page cool so now my data is loading from my child component so every, uh, on each loop it passed the forecast of model as a parameter then uh, the parameter will be received uh, to the child and child is displaying the data okay and also you can notice that I didn't mention any page directory because I don't want this particular component to have a root so no one should should not access by using any root for this so that's what we, I removed this so this is like internal component we can call it and use it anywhere thanks for watching the video guys subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed before and this will help me to put a more video because i need uh, more subscribers and more views it helps me to encourage and uh, keep keep the more video because yeah so i need to uh, if i want to reach uh, to the wider audience i need uh, more subscriptions and the more views thanks for watching the video guys please do subscribe